again. Hello, everyone. I'm Joan, and we have Jemima and Jedida. Oh, today we are once again welcoming in. Welcoming in. What am I saying? Welcoming you. <laughs> what did I just say? Welcoming in. <laughs> okay, so we're welcoming you to our daily broadcast reading with Joan. We've been having fun reading with kids and, you know, just interacting and um, expressing ourselves a God giving talent of reading. What do you think? Yeah. And instruments and fun. So, kids, we look forward to having you on the program. If you're interested in reading, if you're interested in playing a musical instrument, you can join us. Um, and we also want to say, if you miss the program, you can go back and watch it on our Facebook handle, Info of Me, and you can check our YouTube channel. We will put everything on the link once we are finished, or our Instagram, and so we also tweet it out every day, so you can also check our Twitter. And um, so, where do we go from here? Why are you looking at me? Don't look at me like that. Say sorry. <laughs> so today we are doing sorry. <laughs> we are talking about sorry. And uh, someone in my house really, really loves saying sorry. Who is that person? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and who doesn't like saying sorry? <laughs> so, so she identified herself. So Josh, we'll just hand over to you to read for us and then we'll have a quick discussion on sorry. Okay. Mel leaned his hand against the wall. I had to think up something, Eleanor, he said. I mean, I could hardly tell the truth, could I? Eddie stroked his arm where his shirt had the long tail scar. You always told me you cut your arm climbing through a broken, broken window. Yes, I know. The truth would have sounded too crazy, don't you think? Maggie nodded. He was right. He would just have thought it was another of his stories. So she never came back, she whispered, although she knew the answer already. No, replied Mo softly. Basser cut the corner and of finger. He went into it, along with our two cats who were curled up on her lap as usual while I read out aloud. I expect some creature from her change places with Gwen, too. Maybe a spider or a fly or a bird that happened to be flying around the house. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Mo felt silent. Sometimes when he made up such a good story that Maggie thought it was true, he would suddenly smile and say... You fell for that one, Maggie. Like the time on her seventh birthday when he told her he'd seen fairies among the crocuses in the garden. But the smile didn't come this time. I searched the whole house for your mother. No sign of her, he went on. And I went... And when I came back to the living room, Justfinger had vanished, and so had his friend with the horn. But the sword was still there, and it felt so real that I decided not to doubt my sanity. I put you onto the bed. I think I told you your mother had already gone to sleep. And then I began reading in ink her out loud. I read the whole book until I was hoarse and the sun was rising, but nothing came out of it except a bat and a sink silken cloak, which I used to line your book box. I cried again and again during the days and nights that followed until my eyes were burning and the letters danced drunkenly on the page. I didn't eat, I didn't sleep. I kept making different stories for you to explain where your mother's was where your mother was. And I took good care you I took good care for you what you were never in the room with 
me when I was reading out aloud, and Pidgey disappeared too. I wasn't worried about myself, oddly enough. I had a feeling that the person reading the book ran no risk of slipping into the page. I still don't know whether I was right. Mo flicked the midge off his hand. I read until I couldn't hear my own voice anymore, he went on. But your mother didn't come back, Maggie. Instead, a strange little man, as transparent as if he were made of class, appeared in my living room on the fifth, fifth day. And the postman disappeared just as he put just as he was putting the mail into a letter box. I found his job out in the yard. After that, I knew that neither walls nor locked doors would keep you safe, you or anybody else. So I decided to never read aloud from a book again, not from Inkheart, not from any other book. What happened to the little glass man? asked Maggie Mer side. He broke into pieces only a few days later when a heavy heavy truck drove past the house. Obviously very few creatures move easily from one world to another. We both know what fun it can be to get right into a book and live there for a while. But for out of the story is suddenly finding myself in this world doesn't seem to be much fun at all. It broke his heart. Oh, he has a heart, does he? Inquired, inquired Eleanor bitterly. It would be better for him if he didn't, replied Mo. More than a week passed before before he was back at my door again. It was night, of course. He prefers night today. I was just packing. I I decided it was safer to leave since I didn't want to be driving Basta and Capricorn out of my house at Sword Point again. The fingers reappearance showed that I was right to feel anxious. It was well after midnight when he turned up, but I couldn't sleep anyway. Mo stroked Maggie's hair. You weren't sleeping well then either. You had bad dreams, however much I tried to keep them away with my stories. I was just packing the tools in my workshop when there was a knock on the front door a very soft almost furtive knock dust finger emerged from the dark as suddenly as he did when he came to our house four days ago heavens was it really only four days well when he came back that first time he looked as if he it had been too long since he'd eaten. He was thin as a stray cat, and his eyes were dull. Send me back, he begged. Send me da- back. This world would be the death of me. It's too fast, too crowded, too noisy. If I don't die of homesickness, I shall starve to death. I, feel, I don't know how to make a living. I don't know anything. I'm like a fish out of the water he said, and he refused to believe that I couldn't do it. He wanted to see the book and try for himself, even though he could scarcely read, but there was no way I could let him have it. It would have been like giving away the very last part I saw had of your mother. Luckily, I'd hit it. I, I'd hidden it well. I let Dr. Finger sleep on the sofa and c- calm down next morning to find him 
still searching the book bookshelf. Over the next few years, he kept on turning up, following us wherever we went, until I got sick and tired of it, and made off with you in a secret like a thief in the night. After that, I saw him no more for five years, until four days ago. Maggie looked at him. You still feel sorry for him, she said. At, Ma, Ma was silent at last. He said, sometimes. Eleanor's comment on that was snort of contempt. You're even crazier than I thought, she said. It's that, it's that per, uh, person's fault where, where we are in the hole. It's his fault if they cut our throats and you still feel sorry for him okay yeah. thank you so much we appreciate that's a lovely reading do you have any question for these girls because we had a bit yeah. of technical thing with our zoom that was why i had the laptop i don't know what happened zoom decided to ask everybody for a password today which we usually don't get every day so i had to be sorting that out but um good thank you for reading and uh, we are back on track last week we were discussing about um conflict question. no is there a question yeah. what is it? you just said what's question did do you have a question josh no he said no yeah so last week we were discussing about um uh well just just sit up everybody needs to see you just sit up yeah Conflict Reson conflict re resolution and negotiation oh good cracky give me five so she's learned the word so cracky. <laughs> because she's cracky <laughs> are you not cracky you're very cracky babe <laughs> anyway so today we want to see okay when we get to a point where we are resolving an issue what's the word we use and in our house the word we use is those are three words we use sorry uh -huh. yes, mom. nah no those are the three words those three cardinal words you need to oh, know sorry thank you please. exactly this sorry food. please and thank you this yes. one this one and so when it comes to resolving issue, we use the which one of the three words we use? Sorry. We and have like a series. <laughs> tomorrow, we, no, not tomorrow. Next Saturday. Saturday we do that. Again. Next Saturday we do tea. Okay, all right. So she just brought up the series. Anyway, so we're talking about sorry today, and so we'll start with Jeremy. What are sorry? What do you what do you uh, understand by sorry? What does sorry mean to you? <clears throat> it means that you're saying that like you. You really like it's hard to explain sorry without saying sorry. Oh, really? Like you're sorry for what you did, but I don't know how to explain this. Okay. Jen, what like, does you know what to do? What? You know what uh, mm -hmm. Jen, what's sorry to you? You're really without saying sorry, you can do this. Seriously. Exactly, seriously. Now before we go into the discussion, Jamie, can you give us some interlude and then we'll now talk about oh, yeah. what sorry is because we almost forgot that. Okay, so what are you playing today? Now the song she wants to play, the first time she played it, I said, I used to sing this song in my nursery. Now, if you grew up when I grew up, remember the song. If you are marching into class, you used to sing it. So come on. Yeah, so one time for her, let's see. 
Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is so Imagine. So I've gone a long way dealing with my Saturdays. Now, so we just try to find out what sorry is. Jed, what do you think sorry is? Back to you. Uh, sorry is when you like I become. <laughs> sorry is like when you are sorry. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, so, how do I want to illustrate what sorry is? Now, when we get to a point after resolving our conflict, and um, we've narrated each, uh, we've negotiated, and we want to leave the boardroom where we were settling the issue, there is a word that melts every quarrel and that settles everything, and that word is that word is what the world we called sorry so um there is a story i want to use there's a lady or a housemaid that is called her guy so what this housemaid did was um she was very rude to her boss and when she was rude to her boss her boss decided i'm going to deal with you a guy and i'm going to mistreat you so a guy um her boss was called sarah so sarah decided she was going to make sure that um, she deals with um, a guy, and by the time she dealt with a guy, a guy ran away from the house. Is that not what we read this morning? So when she ran away from the house, she was leaving, and then somehow she had an encounter with a super bean. Yay! Angel. And the super bean spoke to her and said, "A guy, you need to go back to your boss." And you need to go and say sorry for what you've done wrong right and you need to go and live with her because you've done something wrong kids i want to ask you at home what do you do when you do something wrong can you tell me one of you joshi joshi first joshi first can i do that joshi first what do you do when you do something wrong oh i'm coming joshi i'll just put you on just hold on a minute. This just this one, not you. Just you? Not not you. Just you, what do you do? Hello, Josh? Josh. Josiah, what do you do? I uh it's Josh. When I say sorry. Ah, pardon? When I say sorry, I feel bad when I did something wrong. Good. When you feel bad, you did something wrong. Any other person? Who else is going to tell me? What do you? How do you feel? What do you do when you say so? Are you? What do you think? Yeah. Pardon? What was the question? How do you feel, or what do you do when you say sorry? Well, I feel okay so who else can tell us how do you feel or what do you do when you feel when you say sorry me okay what do you say what she said what she saying okay oh yeah come on what do you say i say sorry when i do something bad <laughs> you say sorry when you do something bad now mm -hmm. kids how does it make you feel after you said sorry, mm -hmm. you hear me? What does how does it make you feel? Well, that's your dad. I told the person like I've offended or like done something to you. Like they know that I that sorry. So like yeah. sorry is the pill, the medicine that takes everything away. <laughs> Always. Jed, how so how about you? How do you how do you feel after you said sorry? You still feel bad? Yes, I'm making cry. 
No, you cry. You, the reason why Jed cries is because she doesn't like saying sorry. So whenever, <laughs> yeah, no, you don't. You said it before. <laughs> so, but once Jed says sorry, once you say Jed say sorry, Jed will start crying because she doesn't like saying sorry. Did that today. She did it I today. Like breaking, wow. breaking stuff. Yeah, but you you don't like saying sorry too. Remember. So kids, to be honest, I'm talking from mommy and I'm talking from the little Joan when I was growing up. I didn't like saying sorry and I don't still like saying sorry. But the truth is, let's be honest, sorry is the main thing we have to do when we are trying to settle a quarrel or we are trying to settle a negotiation or we are trying to resolve something that is between me and my sister or my brother and so when hey guy came back to sarah a master to say sorry what happened she was able to live with her in peace and they got on together in their relationship sorry is like the bridge that meant two broken walls or like the plaster you know when you are building a house you have the you have the the plaster you have a mixture of a plaster that is used to seal up every wrong that has been done plaster so board. plasterboard yeah plasterboard plaster yeah. House. yeah so that's yeah. what sorry does so if you have a relationship and you are not refusing to say sorry do you think things will work in your relationship if you are refusing to say sorry do you think things will work no i don't think so jemmy give me an example of when you have said sorry and you didn't mean it and you just said it jemmy is very good at that really yes or no that's another aspect there are some people that are very good at saying sorry okay, but they don't actually mean it kids are you like that no you're not like that i like that and i don't want kids i don't want you to be like that i don't want okay, you going away and say auntie john said we should say sorry john said we should say sorry no that's not how it works when you are saying sorry you need to mean it and you need to really mean that you're sorry and so, Jemmy, from today, when you say sorry, you need to mean it. Remember, one of uh, one of our family friends called you and spoke to you about meaning what you mean when you say sorry a few weeks ago. Can you remember? We were talking on the dinner table, and I gave you the phone for her to speak to you. Oh, yeah, I know who that was. You know who that was. And so sometimes when she says sorry to me, I know she doesn't mean it. And I'm just like, upset and say don't say sorry again because you don't mean it so when you say sorry sorry is like the word we use as is called repentant right <laughs> sorry means i'm not going to hurt you again if i say sorry i mean it and i won't hurt you again so kids if we say sorry we mean it and we are not hurting again we are not saying sorry because we feel not just bad or we feel uh, guilty we are saying sorry because we mean it and we don't want to upset our friends and our family again because we want to live in harmony and we want to live in unity jeremy what what is the one what is one of the um one of the rules we live by in the house unity and honesty unity and honesty and good the same time. exactly so that means that if you want unity you need to be honest with your sorry okay you need to mean it when you say sorry. Kids, um, have you ever said sorry and you didn't mean it before? Um, yeah? Yes. Yes, thank you for being honest, Josh. Jed, have you said sorry and you didn't mean it before? Yeah. Sure, everyone has at least once. Exactly. Me too. Me too. I'm guilty as charged. <laughs> but right now, we need to be honest with each other. Okay? We need to say sorry and we need to mean it. And we need to be ready to say sorry. Sometimes it's hard. And so, I know it's a very short broadcast, but I hope we have learned something about sorry, what it means, going back to reconcile like Hegai and Sarah did in our story and then living in harmony and unity afterwards. Okay? Jemmy, any comments before we go? Should mm -hmm. I any comments before we go? Okay. And sorry is this thing that makes everything that's bad go away. Oh, good. She said sorry is the thing that makes everything that is bad go away. I second that. 
Is that because second motion. The second motion too. We thought the motion. No, you yes, thought the motion. Yeah, everybody thought the motion we get. So that means whenever we say sorry, everything that is bad goes away. Is that really true? Hmm. We leave that topic for an adult to decide. For kids, everything bad goes away. But for adults, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you break my golden cup. And that's the only golden cup. No, glass cup. Gold, gold doesn't glass golden cup. And then you break it and it smashes. And you said, sorry. Yeah. Does it bring back the broken cup? No, that's for another day. That's for another day. So, <laughs> so we go from this topic to that. How do you deal with a situation when the story does not take everything away? Um, a parent, grown up, kids, you can give us a comment and then let's discuss it further. Uh, but on today, we thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed and have fun as we are sharing about sorting out conflict in the house, talking about it, and then getting to the point of saying sorry. But what happens when sorry is not enough? Is sorry always enough? Yeah. Yes, sometimes. Most times. Sometimes. So what do you do when sorry is not enough? So let's go back, and then next week we'll talk about that. Okay, yes, so yes. next week we'll talk about that. All right, see you. Bye. Bye. We love reading Bye. with you. Bye. 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 Bye.